In this example, we're going to integrate the function of x to the fifth plus 1, all multiplied by e to the x to the sixth plus 6x. Six okay, so in this problem, we're going to use a substitution method for integration. Okay, so whenever we have e involved, okay, uh, the first thing you want to do is let u be the argument of e. Okay, so we're going to let, okay, so we're going to let u be equal to x to the 6 plus 6x. Six okay, so we want to let u be this part. That's the argument of, of the exponential function here. Okay, so next thing is to go ahead and uh, take the derivative of u with respect to x. So we have du dx equals to, okay, we're going to get 6 times x to the fifth plus 6. Okay, this is the same as du equals to 6x to the fifth plus 6 times dx. Okay. Okay, so so far we have the integral of e to the u. Okay. All right, so we still need to convert the other part. Okay. So we still need to convert x to the fifth plus one and dx in terms of u. So if we go back to our if we go back to the expression for du, okay. Uh, notice that we have, uh, we can factor out a 6 here, okay? So du is going to be equal to 6 times x to the fifth plus 1 dx, okay? So that means uh, we have 1 6 du, okay? We don't have a 6 in our we don't have a constant 6 in our function, so we can rewrite this as 160u equals to x to the fifth plus 1 dx. Okay? So that means this part, we have x to the fifth plus 1, and dx will be written as 160u. Okay? So we have 160u. Okay? So that's going into this portion. Okay? Okay, so now we can go ahead and uh, find the integral of this. Okay, this is going to be 1 6 times the integral of e to the u du. Okay, so the integral of e to the u is just e to the u. So we have 1 6 times the integral. Okay, well, taking the integral, we're going to have e to the u. Okay, and we're going to have, a, I'll put the constant at the end. Okay, so this is going to give us 1 6 times e to the u. u was x to the 6 plus 6x. Okay, and plus some constant. Okay, so this is the solution for our integral. Okay. All right. So uh, we apply the integration or apply the substitution method for this integral. And so when you when we whenever you have e, the first rule is to if you have e involved in your function, the first place to start is to let u be the argument of e. And then from there we take uh, we can go ahead and take the derivative of u with respect to x, and that part will replace the remaining part of our function. Okay. And then we from there we can take the integral in terms of u. Okay, so that's, that's how we apply the integration, the uh, substitution method for integration.